Welcome everyone to the uh, groundbreaking ceremony for White Marsh Park. This is the uh, first time we've had a groundbreaking ceremony in quite a while. We're very pleased to have that happen. Um, glad to see all the important faces out there in the crowd. Uh, Gene Wagbo, the chair of our uh, Park Recreation Advisory Board. Uh, of course, Greg Todd, the county administrator, and all of our county department heads. And then behind us, we have our commissioners for Queen Anne's County. Um, I'd like to welcome you all here, and if we could just take a moment to uh, do the Pledge of Allegiance, and then we'll finish that up with a moment of silence after that. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. A little history on White Marsh Park. White Marsh was purchased back in 2006, and today it has uh, ball diamonds, baseball diamonds, uh, soccer, lacrosse fields, an old train station, uh, walking paths, and a huge amount of nature area, uh, which was done intentionally. This was one of the first parks in the state. We did three parks around the state that had um, a combination of active recreation and passive recreation. And the agreement with the state of Maryland when they uh, put money into this project was that it would be um, maintained uh, in, a in, a, in a sustaining way. So they would, as many uh, green building practices as could be used would be used on this property. As noted by the pervious concrete that you have out there in the parking lot and some other paving techniques for uh, pervious Perviousness. Um, the uh, White Marsh Park is one of 22 county parks, 10 natural areas, 19 landings, two piers, three marinas, one golf course, one airport, and 16 Board of Education outdoor facilities maintained by the Parks Department, totaling 3,333 acres, White Marsh Park being 318 acres. The property was purchased for approximately $4,160,000. Now this is the part that the commissioners will appreciate, I think. Of that $4,160,000, the state POS funding for that was $2,860,000. The federal Land and Water Conservation Fund funding was $1,250,000. The local program open space monies were $50,000. So there wasn't any actual county tax dollars that went into the purchase of this four over $4 million property. So that always makes it better, doesn't it? <laughs> Gotta love that. Yeah. Gotta love that. Yeah. Um, the reason that so, I'm so glad to be here with this, uh, de this groundbreaking for these fields is that we've had a whole lot of requests for new fields. Um, it's hard to keep up with the demand for athletic fields in Queen Anne's County. In 2015, we, the Parks Department, addressed the uh, provided playing fields for 297 registered, registered teams. Um, and these were on 72 fields. So you can see where you're really cramming them in to uh, give everybody an opportunity. So in brief, before we uh, go ahead and do the the ground turning here. Um, i just like to thank the commissioners for their ongoing support of the park system in Queen Anne's County. I think we have one a system that can, we all can be very proud of. And I always like to say that the Parks Department and Recreation too, I see Kathy and Joan out there, the, but the Parks and Recreation folks, it's kind of like your parents. They, if they do the job right, they work behind the scenes and you, it's seamless. All you do is you, you benefit from what they do, but you don't really appreciate them until they're gone. And then you realize how much they've been doing for you. So with that in mind, again, I'd like to thank the commissioners. I'd like to thank all the park users, all of our park board members and other folks who have been so supportive in the general public through all the leagues of all the uh, park activities. I want to give a special thanks to J.P. Curian for uh, JP is going for his Eagle Scout project. 
And uh, what he did, JP came in and built a shed for us, or got a shed for us, and he also had this wall built for us for lacrosse, um, a bounce back wall. And we want to thank him for his efforts and other scouts. This really couldn't happen without the, um, the county. Um, Mr. Mike and Mr. Phil and everyone else have been so supportive. Um, you know, my parents have been a really big help, and Ms. Jen Fitzmorris, I don't know where she is, but they all have been so supportive, and um, I just want to say thanks to you guys, because it wouldn't have happened without you guys, so thank you. Thanks, JP. Appreciate all your efforts. I'd like to make one final remark, and that was that the reason this park exists is because Greg made it about 20 years ago. Since I've been a county commissioner, I'm extremely proud of the way Chip has handled the park service to this state, and I want to thank him personally. Well, again, thanks to the uh, county commissioners, thanks to JP, everyone else, all the hardworking county employees across the county who uh, keep these facilities, build these facilities, and maintain the facilities. We appreciate all that. And with that, I guess we'll have a countdown of one, two, three, and then we'll have the earth turning by the commissioners. So, one, two, three. All right. <laughs>